I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is a very interesting question from one of my students. I hope its solution will help many others. The question here is, the diagonals of a parallelogram are determined by vectors a, 3, 3, 0 and b, minus 1, 1, minus 2. Show that this parallelogram is a rhombus. b is, Determine the vectors representing its sides and then determine the length of these sides. Part C is determine the angle in this rhombus. So to prove that it is a rhombus, what should we do? Well, the diagonals of a rhombus are at right angles, right? So that is the main thing which we need to understand. So first, let me sketch one rhombus here, and then we'll try to prove what is required. We're given here two diagonals, right? Let's say this is one of the diagonals. The other one, let's say, is this. So these are the two diagonals given to us. If we show that they intersect at right angles, that means the dot product is zero then it's a rhombus. It is already given to us as a parallelogram, so we don't really have to prove that the sides are parallel. It's given to us, right? So let's number, name these sides. Let's say A, B, C, D is the parallelogram, correct? Now, what is the dot product of A and B? Let's figure this out first. So dot product is equal to 3, 3, 0 dot minus 1, 1, minus 2. That gives you minus 3 plus 3 and that is plus 0 and it is indeed 0. Since the dot product is 0, diagonals intersect at right angles. So we have diagonals intersect at right angles. So that means it is a rhombus, right? So, and we are given it's a parallelogram. So it's a parallelogram in which the diagonals intersect at right angles, and therefore it is a rhombus. Correct. So this part is done. Second, determine the vectors representing e its sides, and then determine the length of these sides. Now, so let us say. Uh, we want to find one of these sides. Let's say we want to find this side. Now this side is same as AB, correct? These two sides are exactly same. It's a parallelogram. So what is this side equal to? Well, the side AB, you could say this or that, or let's say CD. Side CD, since it is in a parallelogram, sides are also equal. They also bisect one another. So that is also a property of a parallelogram. So we are going to use this property. So what we see here is to find C to D, it is combination of, let's say O is the center point, it is equal to DO plus O to C, right? Which is half of db plus ac correct now db and ac are given to us as vectors a and b right so it is half of the sum of these two vectors let me write this as 3 3 0 plus minus 1 1 minus 2 right so that is what it is so it is half of what we get here is 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 and 1, when you add, get 4. 0 and this, you get minus 2, which is equal to 1, 2, and minus 1, right? So that becomes vector A, C, D, right? C, D is also equal to A, B, right? This is also equal to A, B, both vectors. Okay. The other vector, which is, let's say, BC, 
BC will be half of difference of these two, right? So it is because this is like A, this is minus B, right? These are the two diagonals, correct? So it is half of vector A minus vector B, which is half of, so if you do A minus B, you get 3 minus 1 is 4, right? Let's do direct. 3 minus 1 is 2. That was, was minus 1, so it became 4. This is 2. 0 minus 2 is 2. And so this half is 2, 1, 1. So vector BC is 2, 1, 1. So we get these two vectors. Now once we get these two vectors, we can find the angle between them. So we have done the second part, which is finding the vectors. Well, we have to also find the length of these sides. So the length of this side is the magnitude, right? So let's find the magnitude. So magnitude of AB will be equal to what? Square root of 1 plus 4 plus 1, right? So A square B square C square, which is square root of 6. And this is also equal to magnitude of BC, right? Since it is a rhombus, all the sides are equal in length. So each side is square root 6 for us. Now let's find the angle in the rhombus. So to find the angle, we'll use these two vectors and do the dot product and find the angle. So, so the angle between A, A, D, so we'll do, let's use a different ink. AD dot AB. Now AD is same as BC, right? So I'm writing AD. AD dot BC will be, we already have this here, 1 uh, is equal to magnitude of AD times magnitude of AB times cos of theta, right? So taking this angle as theta. So cos theta is equal to their dot product, which I'll write down as 1, 2, minus 1 dot, here it is 2, 1, 1, okay, divided by the magnitudes of square root 6 we already calculated, so we'll put that straight. Now what is this? 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 over 6. And that is 2 plus 2, 4 minus 1, 3. So 3 over 6 or equals to half, right? So we have cos theta equals to half. That means theta equals to 60 degrees, right? So we get one angle as 60 degrees. The other one will be, let's call this as phi. So phi is going to be 180 minus 60, which will be 120 degrees, correct? So that is how we get these angles. So what we got here is that the vectors are 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 1, and, and 2, 1, 1. The length is square root of 6. The angles are 60 degrees and 120 degrees, correct? So that becomes the solution for the given question. I hope it is understandable. I kind of squeezed in a lot of material here, uh, but I hope it is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.